Ladies and gentlemen, get ready to be amazed by magic, mystery and enchantment. Our next presenter is a legendary showman who's won more than 20 Emmy Awards. He performed all over the world and is considered the greatest code illusionist of our time. He squashed the first ever computer bug, designed Apple's logo and using his telekinesis powers he influenced Alan Turing to create the first ever Turing machine, which was originally a coffee maker. He started the first tabs versus spaces argument and introduced the unsubscribe method into RxJS. No, it wasn't a pull request. He doesn't do a pull request. He only does push demands. Today, ladies and gentlemen, he is going to blow your mind. Angie Conf, please give it up for the magnificent Shai Resnico. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to the Magnificent Sheresniko Show! And today, you are about to experience magic! Amazing. And now, I will need the volunteer from the audience. You, come to the stage. <laughs> Hello. Hi. What is your name? Bonnie. And what do you do for a living, Bonnie? Well, I'm a software developer. Oh, that's nice. And tell me, Bonnie. Uh, do we know each other? Uh, yeah, uh, no, no, we definitely do not know each other. Uh, good, good. So, I want you to concentrate real hard and think about the problem you're currently facing at work. Well, um, yeah, now that I think about it, how did you... <laughs> we do have a big issue in our project. Let me guess. I can see something about a library called Moment.js, which handles dates and times. Wow! And your app depends on this library. But, but, you want to replace it with another library called Date Functions. That's amazing! How did you do that? I have special powers. <laughs> now tell me. How many parts of the app depend on Moment.js? A lot! And we also have like 1000 tests running. Hmm. You don't want to break all these tests. And also don't want to break your app when you replace it to date functions. Exactly. Okay. So prepare to be amazed. It's now time for more magic. My shirt is white. Now. Let's go dive into your code. 